Hello guys, and welcome, welcome back. I'm here today to talk about all the series that I want to read in 2024. Some of these are continuation series that I started in 2023 and I will continue on hopefully in 2024. And I have a few videos coming up, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. These are in no particular order. I just want to start this series in 2024. Some of these books have been in my TBR, in previous TBRs in 2023. I think I have like maybe 20 series, if not more. Wait, I need to let my dog out. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So I know there is a lot of series here, but I'm very confident that I will start. Some of them are duologies and look who's there. Say hello to River. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, like I was saying, some of these I will start. I'm not saying that I will finish in 2024, but my goal is to start. And there are some duologies, some my trilogies, and I'm just looking forward to, you know, just to start them and finish them or why not? Or DNF, who knows? Maybe I'll start and I decide this is not for me. Maybe I'll pick it up at a later time or maybe, oh, I'm just gonna DNF it. Okay, so these are in no particular order. So let's start with one that has been in my TBR since like 2017. And it is the first book in the Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Paolini. I know there was a uh, Mortag or something that just came out. And yeah, I just want to start. And this is the only book that I have because I want it in a giveaway. So I just want to start it. I don't know much about it other than the series is really good. I heard nothing but amazing things about it. And this is the first book, which is Aragon. And I just, I love this cover. So hopefully if I enjoy them, I'll buy the whole series. And the next series that I'm planning to pick up is The Model Techniques, I believe it's called. I read this back in 2021. I really love this book. It was one of my favorite books in 2021. I didn't have the other books, so I didn't continue on, but I absolutely love this series. Another series that I plan to pick up is The Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Maas. I haven't read a book by Sarah J. Maas in a bit. So I decided since the third book is coming out in, I believe it's January, sometime in January, I don't know. 2024. I want to start reading the series. Hopefully I like it. I heard nothing but great things about it. So yeah, another series that I want to start and this one has been sitting in my shelves for a while since it came out is The Rage of Dragons. And this is the first book in the Burning series. I don't know how many books are going to be. And I think it's time for me to pick it up in 2024. Another book that's been sitting in my TBR for the longest is this series, which is The Faithful and the Fallen. This is book one, Malice. I only have book one and two. For some reason, I bought book one and two of this series. Then I bought book one and two for the following series. And now there's the other series that just came out. And I seriously want to get into it. I'm looking forward to it and see what everything is all about. The next series I um, want to pick up is the Chorus, the Dragon Chorus. Let me look it up. A Chorus of Dragons. I read the first book, Ruin of Kings. I absolutely love it. I don't know where, where it is in, in the library because I have a mess. I'm trying to redo my library and it's a whole mess. It's all, a lot of mess in there. But I, I found book two and three that I have and I absolutely loved the first book. And the reason why I didn't continue on with the series when I read it, it was because I didn't have the other book. I got this on sale like $7.97, so I mean, I couldn't pass that in. Another series that I want to read is War Height by A.C. Cobble. And the first book is Conspiracy. I picked this up because of the cover. Like, absolutely love the cover. It was a cover by, I mean, look at this fine. In book two, definitely matches this. I believe it's like a black and red, and I absolutely love it. I mean, look at these covers. Look at these covers. I don't know much about the series. I don't know how many books are in. I believe there's only two books. I'm not sure, don't take my word for it, but I'm just gonna read it. Another book, that, another series that I want to start is one because of the covers. I mean, these covers for book one, two, and three, I believe it's a trilogy. The series is Sons of Chaos. Sons of Chaos, and this is book one, Ascendant, and by Michael R. Miller. Look at this, look at this baby. I don't know much, I heard really good things about it, 
and that's how I'm, this is the vibe of this video. Cover by and because I heard good things about it. <laughs> The next series that I plan to start is The Justice of Kings. I'm not sure if that is, oh, Empire of the Wolf. And this is book one. I do have book two. And I think the third one comes out soon I'm, or maybe it's out already. I'm not really sure, but I picked this up as soon as it came out. My plan was to read it, but I never did for whatever reason. But 2024 is the year. The next series that I'm going to read is a duology. This one has been in my TBR for the entirety of 2023. I believe I put this in my TBR like six or seven times. And it's this. This is a Crown of Naxia novel by Carissa Broadbent. And the Nine Born Duet. Okay, so it, it is a duet. So I shouldn't have any problems finishing up this series. This is The Serpent and The Wings of Night. This year, this is going to happen. The next series that I'm going to start is Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn. I read this back in 2021. I absolutely, no, 2022. And I loved it. The only reason why I didn't continue on was because I only had the ebook of the first book. I decided that I'm going to be rereading reading this it took me a while it is slow it is kind of like coming of age I absolutely loved it I will reread this because I had a really good time with it now another book that has been in my TBR plenty of times is Koshio's Dart and this is the first book in what does this call what is this called it's called the Koshio's Legacy the first book is Koshio Dart because she was chosen. Anyways, I started reading this book and I stopped reading it because I had the mass paperback and mass paperback, the mass market. I just, I, I don't like those books unless they are historical romans. I don't like to pick up the mass paperback because I just hate them. So anyways, when these new covers were released, I went and I picked up the whole trilogy. So there's no more excuses. This is a dark fantasy. I think it's like also like dark romance. I don't know. This is, I know that it's dark because when I started reading it from the very beginning, you get that darkness. And I was just like, I'm going to love this book. But because I had the paperback, the mass market, I was just like, and I, I know it's stupid, but I just, I'm so happy that these are out and definitely will be reading it this year. Another series that I want to continue on because I read the first book back in 2019, it was before COVID happened. I read this and I absolutely loved it. And is the blade itself, and this is the first law trilogy. I want to reread this because I absolutely love these characters, um, morally great characters, and I just I love Green Dark. Another series that I read back in, I believe it was like 2016, 20, maybe it's 2017. When I first started book two back in the days, I know <laughs> my channel doesn't reflect that because I think I believe it was like 2022. I decided to delete my channel and I regretted it <laughs> and I, I never saved all those videos. I deleted them, but I did, re I did read the 12 Kings in Sharakai. This is the first book in The Twelve Kings. I'm not really sure. I remember the series being uh, the first, uh, you know, Twelve Kings of Sharakai. That's how I refer to the series. I did read book one and two. I read the novella and I really enjoyed the three books that I read, but I didn't have the rest of the books. But I went to a book outlet and I picked up the rest of the books and I know there's a new series that Bradley P. Bailu, I know I'm butchering that, has a new series is called the Deepwood something i'm not sure it just came out this year i think or it's coming out 2024 i'm not sure so i want to start that but now that i have all the books in the series hardcovers too i will reread this one that i read back in 2016 2017 and i absolutely loved the next series that I'm going to continue on is a YA series. I have read this book twice and for me to pick up the books and continue on. But for some reason, I only had the one book and then this year I decided to get the rest of the trilogy. And this is the first book in the Swords and Fire and it's by Melissa Caruso. And I loved it. I read this back in like 2016, 2017 and I really loved it. And I guess because of the other books were not out, I this 2017 I read it. I decided to like wait until the trilogy was out, was done. 
and now it is and i have no excuse and i read it in 2023 and i gave it five stars the next series that is i believe this is a, a duology i'm not sure let's see this is book two in the shepherd king by rachel gillick i heard nothing but good things about it i do have book one but i don't know where it is so the first book is one dark window and i haven't read that one but i heard good things mixed reviews i have to say but i still picked up the book never read it now that book two is out i definitely want to read it and it looks like it's just two is a duology i'll probably tackle the duologies and the trilogies first and then i continue on to bigger series i don't know but 2024 like i said year of series okay another book that i started reading in 2023 and i didn't finish and it's not because i wasn't interested it's just that it was so slow and there was other books that i was interested that in that I decided to put this to the side but I do want to continue on I was reread the first book I actually stopped I did a sub DNA and I went up until page 279 who quits mid book like seriously it, it is a very slow low burn fantasy book and I absolutely love the world building on this one. I love the character. I haven't stopped thinking about this book since I put it down, but for some reason, you know, 2023 was the year that I was mood reading. I hardly made any TBRs, and when I did, I basically maybe read one or two books from my TBR. So I decided that I was going to put this down for now, and I'm picking it up in 2024 because I absolutely love this world, and the way you see the cover is exactly the vibe you get inside of this and I absolutely loved it. Now, <laughs> another series that I have, I believe all the books, let me see, Empire of, okay, so let me just say because I just said it, is Empire of Silence by Christopher Rocco. I was going to read this in 2023. I didn't, you know. I mean, I'm saying 2023. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video, but whenever it is, just know that this was in my TBR sometime in 2023. This year, if I'm posting this video in 2023, or last year, if I'm posting this in 2024. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to edit this book, but anyway, I digress. The only reason why I didn't want to read this is because this mass paperback, like I I don't like this book. If they are historical romance, then I have no problem reading it, okay? But when it comes to like fantasy books or regular other books, I cannot read books like this. So I know there were paperbacks that were on sale, but for some reason, when I went to pick them up, they were all sold out on Amazon and I cannot find the paperback anywhere else. So I heard they will release more paperbacks in January, but don't take my word on that. Just follow the author and <laughs> you'll get the more details. But so so I have all the five books. I don't know if there's going to be more than five books, but I do have them and I just cannot wait to dive into this. The other series is The Gentleman Bastard by Scott Lynch. I read this twice. I absolutely loved it. I believe there's only three books out and I want to read them. I will reread this. But this one, I'm thinking I'm going to leave by for the end of the year, maybe towards November, December, because I, need, I still need to get the books. And now we have come to the end and this, this series is like, okay, so this is part of the uh, realm of the Erdolins. I believe they're like 16 books, but they are divided into the Farseer trilogy, the Life Ship Traders, the Tony Men's trilogy, I believe it is. Don't quote me on that because I don't know if those are the name of the series, but I know that this one, this is book one of the Lightship Traders by Robin Hobb, and this is Ship of Magic. I read the Farseer trilogy, one of my favorite series in 2023. I reread The Assassin's Apprentice twice. That's how much I love that book. If you haven't watched my favorite books of 2023, spoilers. <laughs> The Farsia Trilogy is in my favorite books of 2023. I don't know much about this, what it's about. I do want to go in not knowing much. I love the Farsia Trilogy. I just, I love 
the whole entire trilogy and I just can't wait to continue on with the Lightship Traders. So hopefully it's good. These books, they got progressively bigger and thicker as you went on with the series. So yes, this is all that I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.